the new news, she's slaying the city. No makeup, just wake up and still giving the free. Get the lights, camera, and she cuts as big as a movie. And grab a seat and now tune with disastrous beauty. from a 4 inch to 
a six inch so it is instead of it being you know like a 13 by 4 360 wig it does go back six inches so i want you to keep that in mind like literally if i had a part in this unit which i don't but i could go all the way back here okay i was looking at that when i was initially uh looking at the wig and i hope i showed that at some point because it was really really nice i was really excited about that because you guys know i have been complaining about the 13 by 4 so i love that this unit if i wanted to have me a part that go all the way back here girl i could do that okay i love that for me uh they also said lace all around the perimeter it can be done in a ponytail which is what i have a bun or just put hair um in multiple different styles so you can literally style this unit however you want to style it you can put it in a ponytail like i'm wearing it you can wear it just down you can wear it in a bun if you want to do a bun type of style it is a 360 wig so you have uh way more options than you would if it wasn't okay so their lace this lace is hd transparent lace is very durable and i don't know i don't know what the other word is <laughs> I think they meant that easy to apply, but you know, there, there can be language barriers, but yeah. So with this wig, uh, it is HD lace. You guys know, I do prefer HD lace cause I struggle with brown lace. So whenever it's an HD lace wig, it is much easier for me. Now the company did, uh, in that email, I see that they had like do multiple styles. Y'all know I'm nobody's beautician girl. Okay. It was a struggle to get this ponytail in my head. Okay. So I didn't do multiple styles because honestly, like that's not realistic for somebody. In my opinion, that's not like somebody that really, really just knows how to do hair i'm not somebody that know how to do hair okay i review wigs i'm not a beautician there's a difference so but if you wanted to and you did know how to do it you didn't have, you don't have to just do a ponytail you can wear it down and you can also uh you know do like a little top knot bun if that's like the style you want with which a bun is really relatively easily not easily you can just do a bun like that you know what i mean so it does offer that sort of versatility with this type of unit okay so i also obviously i have an outfit change but i also wanted to show you guys what this unit would look like if you decided to wear it down and this is what it looks like all i did was apply some water and my mousse to this hair and i just wanted to show you guys the versatility of this unit so if you want to the thumbnail is obviously going to be me wearing it in a ponytail and me wearing it in a bun but if you want to wear it down you can also get this sort of sleek look so i just wanted to show you guys that just because they did tell me to show three styles so that's three okay company that's three styles right there that's down that's in a bun and that's a ponytail so i i completed the assignment honey okay so yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you guys this and show you it in the back and what it looks like down. I hope you can see that. So yeah, and I also did apply my um, Kat Von D uh, foundation part, um, foundation powder to the parting space. So yeah, that's it. I, I this, this is literally the same day. Okay, y'all, this is the same day. All I did was decide to wear it down to show you guys what it would look like before me and Juicy getting these screeks, honey. Okay, so yeah, that's it. Okay, so as far as shedding and tangling with this wig, in my opinion, I did not experience any of the things. Like it says this one curl is definitely giving me more of uh, a loose wave sort of vibe you know i feel like uh sometimes these companies will say it's certain things and to me it's giving this sort of texture but it, it says one curl but i think um you can compare it to a loose wave in my opinion i mean i'm nobody's expert but that's how i feel but i did not experience any, any shedding or tangling with this wig now they do have on their on on the thing that is 200 density is not giving that for me i would say maybe 180 maybe even 150 okay that's kind of what it's giving me but honey you 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 guys let me know what you think but it's definitely not giving me 200 density and you guys know i'm gonna always keep it a whole buck with you girl okay and that's not what she's giving to me so yeah now we can uh, uh, oh as far as it being big head friendly in my opinion i have to adjust the straps i do consider this wig to be more big head friendly than not i am an average cap size so honey do whatever what you want to do with that but to me it is big head friendly now we can get into my pros and cons with this unit 
right, so my con with this wig would be the fact that they say it's 200% this tea. Like, to me, it's not as big of a deal because I didn't buy it. You know, it was sent to me. But I, I think if I was wanting 200% density and it feels like 150 maybe 180 honey i'd be in my bag okay so i, I love the density that it is like i think it, it gives it a more natural sort of vibe but i don't like that it says something else you know what i mean so yeah that would be a con for me the pros with this unit is the hair feels freaking amazing. I love the lace with this wig. I love that it came pre-tweezed. I don't know if I mentioned that. I did not tweeze this unit at all. It came pre-tweezed. I love the parting space. You cannot beat the parting space with this wig with a stick, girl, okay? So I love that as well. And just the overall vibe of this unit in general. Like, as far as 360 wigs go, uh, I, they're not something that I, I typically gravitate towards because I just feel like they're a lot of work. And, honey, y'all know I ain't got time, okay? Right now, Juicy Holly, he bored. Okay, so I don't have the time. But I do like that um, this unit does offer that versatility if you want it to do it. So, yeah, those are my pros with this wig. Would I recommend it? Yes. I would recommend it because I think it's a really nice unit. And the only con is the fact that they say the density is one thing. And I don't personally feel like that's the density. But overall, the unit, I think it's a really, really nice unit. I think it's very beginner friendly. I love the hairline. I love everything about it. Other than the fact that they say it's this and I don't feel like it's that. But the unit in itself, separate as a separate entity, child she's everything to me I, I really think she's everything so yeah but that's just me y'all let me know what y'all think now we can get into this 360 all right y'all so we're gonna do this full 360 now i didn't really show you guys me applying this unit in the bag and there's a reason i didn't show it girl because honey mm, i didn't use glue i use spray because i'm not gonna be wearing this unit very long i have other videos to do so, if the back looks a little crazy, just know that's team my bad, not team their bad, okay? Because I only just use a little spray just to kind of get it laying down. And when you're wearing ponytails like this, it's not a big deal. So, don't expect no pictures of the back in a bun. That ain't happening because I didn't put in that work. But you know what you need to do. You get, you get the vision. Okay, girl? You get the vision. Okay, that being said, that was my little disclaimer. This is obviously the unit in the front. This is it on the left side. This is it in the back. And I'm just gonna show you the back, honey. Don't judge me. Okay. First of all, you know I all my kitchen is always a mess. But I want you guys to see. I hope you're seeing it. <laughs> I want you guys to see what the back looks like so you can get an idea of what needs to be done. And this is it on the right side. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I would definitely recommend if you are somebody that is wanting to wear the hair up and maybe in a bun, because I think I'm gonna take some pictures with the bun. After I did the bun, I'm like, girl, you need to, you need to take some pictures with the bun. But if you want to do that, I would definitely recommend using glue instead of spray. I just feel like it holds better, and when you're going up, I just feel like you need that. That's just my opinion. But I'm nobody's beautician. But yeah, so that's that on that. So yeah, let me know down below what you guys think about this unit. Let me know if you're feeling it, if you think it's a vibe. Let me know down below in the comments. I am interested in your thoughts and opinions. Once again, shout out to you, Eon, for sending me this unit and sponsoring this video. I truly do appreciate it. Um, and if you are interested in this wig, I will have a direct link to it down below in the description box for your convenience. And your girl, <laughs> that's all. That's all. So, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions on the like I may have left out, feel free to comment down below. And if you're not already subscribed, girl, click the subscribe button. Stop pushing out one red cent. And if you're not already following me on all my social media platforms, I am Disastrous Beauty on both IG and TikTok. I'm Hell to Miss C on Snapchat, and I'm Disastrous B on Twitter. And I will see you, love bucks, next time.